The title says it all. Spicy Mexican Benedict with chorizo and jalapeno hollandaise. Thank you, Benefiber, for sponsoring today's video. Favorite meal of the day, breakfast, no question. Don't give a shit what time I eat it. Breakfast foods are at the top of my list. And I'm pretty certain if I had to choose my last meal right now, it would involve eggs and a runny yolk. I mean, a cooked runny yolk. I don't mean a raw runny yolk. I mean, like a poached egg, that. A sunny side up egg, that. By the way, no more over easy eggs for me. Nope, just make a perfect sunny side and I'm there. One perfect sunny and I'm happy. Comments from the peanut gallery? Go ahead, Max. I dare you to eat an egg, egg yolk right now. We've had this conversation. I believe that I would yak right in front of everybody. It'd be great entertainment. It's not happening. But Chance might. I would do it. Just, just the yolk? Yeah, if you double dog dare me, then I would <laughs> legally have to do it. All right, we might have to do that later. <laughs> Stay tuned to see if we make Chancey. Uh, seriously, that's all it takes. I just have to say I double dog dare you. And, and I legally have to. All right, we're going to make the poached eggs first because in a Benedict situation, there is nothing worse then running towards the finish line and then having to perform by creating perfect poached eggs. So I'm gonna show you how to make them perfectly. You have trouble performing under pressure? I'm gonna show you how to make them perfectly, hold them perfectly, bring them back to life perfectly. And then everything else just happens. Let's get some eggs going. This is obviously a food show. And of course we think that the food we make to go in your stomachs is delicious. And it is. But stomachs are a funny thing and we often don't think about them until there's a problem. There's little things you might notice like being in a quiet meeting and your stomach is doing crazy things and making crazy sounds and you hope nobody notices. But they all do. But take heart my friends because Benefiber is here to make gut health easy for you. It's a plant-based prebiotic fiber that helps nourish the good bacteria in your gut to support an environment for good digestive health. And check this out. It's clear and taste-free, unlike some of the other fiber supplements out there that my father used to drink. Oh. Look, we're smarter now than we were in past years. Now we wear seatbelts, and we know that smoking is bad for you. And we also know that taking care of your gut is really important. So think about Benefiber becoming part of your daily wellness routine. Oh, and to make it really simple, they even come in gummies. Pretty sure you get the gummy concept. So think about Benefiber becoming an important part of your wellness routine. It's as simple as this. So to a pot of just simmering water, not boiling, I'm gonna put a little plain white vinegar in. The theory is this helps the egg uh, not be all stringy around the edges. Uh, there's a school of thought that says it's BS. I don't know, I, I, I adhere to it, so that's fine. So now I've got my egg in a small bowl like this. I'll take this end of my spatula and I will spin in a circle, thereby creating a bit of a little vortex. And right at the moment when it's at the height of the vortex, not really, I'll bring the egg down and just drop it in. And then the swirling action will help pull the white together, thereby giving you that gorgeous poached egg effect or whatever it is. Yes, I know. Sorry, let me get that out. Ow, that's Wait, hot. What the hell are you thinking? That was hot. I thought I could just get the end of it and it might be okay. But so, let's be gentle. You don't want it sticking. There you go, now you're fine. Now you're fine. And anything that is stringy, you can uh, easily cut off with a pair of Chance's special scissors. This is probably gonna take you uh, two to three minutes, depending on the temperature of your water. And don't say, okay, simmering some special degree that everybody should have. Oh, you know, is your egg ice cold? Really, was the water like that? Whatever. So like this stuff here, of course, that we don't need. So, oops, oh, what a mess. I'll get rid of that. What a terrible mess. I think it's like this that makes the Food Network hate me. Yes. It's called real like this. This is actual real cooking. There's nothing fake. Nobody's making this stuff in advance for me. I don't have people in the wings following along. Preach, brother. <laughs> Thank you. So like, like this, this, uh, this, there you go. Get out, you. So when you start getting close to like the two minute mark, here's what we want to do. This is a little Asian uh, strainer. strainer thing. It's perfect for like this. So if you know you're not stuck to the bottom and you lift it up, now watch, yolk. That's supposed to be runny, right? The white though, when you push on the white here, you can see that the white is still gooey and I don't want that. So we're gonna let that go for another maybe minute. Okay, we'll check again. So you see, look, this little bit, that just comes right off. Soft, 
yolk, firm, white. Now, if I was making uh, this to be eaten right now, this would go right onto a Benedict, but it's not. So here's what I'm gonna do. I have a container of ice water here that I'm gonna carefully slip this into like that, and that will stop the cooking. It's just gonna live in here now, it's like some weird science experiment. But the cool thing is, is that when I want it, I'll just take the egg carefully out of the ice water, slip it back in here for one minute. And whether you use it in an hour, in three hours, or in a day or two, you won't know that it wasn't just made. And look, the hard part, the anxiety part about making a, a, a Benedict is the poached egg itself. So make them early, make them by yourself when there's not people sitting at a table with a knife and fork ready to go. Look, you generally make what, two per person? Yeah. I like one and then have other food, but let's say you go with two per person. You have three people for breakfast, plus you, that's eight eggs. You're trying to make it the last minute. Fuck it. No, don't do that to yourself. Morning of, the night before, the day before, you're gonna be fine. I'll make one more and then we'll move on to the hollandaise and then the chorizo and then the deliciousness and then we're eating and then we're happy. Chorizo time. Just break it up. You know, the thing about chorizo, unlike ground beef, is it doesn't really change color a whole lot. It'll deepen and stuff. But you know, you're just cooking pork sausage, basically, that's been highly seasoned and is gonna be outstanding. Look, a regular old school Benedict is, is a ham, pork. So we're just uh, introducing it to its south of the border cousin. So break this up, let it get going. I'll show you what it looks like when it's ready, but we can start on our hollandaise while this is cooking. I mean, look, it does change color, you can see, but it's not like beef that goes from basically pink to dark brown or gray or whatever the hell that is. Okay, let's go for the hollandaise. Here we go, hollandaise time. Uh, we make this in the blender. Blender hollandaise, it's on the website, cookingguy.com. Pretty simple to follow. We start with two egg yolk. Astro, we start with two egg yolks. So we know how to do this, right? We crack. We separate, and then we do this. Ah. Jeez, that. Nope, that's not what you do. You take an egg, you crack it, you separate it gently, and now you transfer the yolk back and forth, thereby, oh my God, thereby eliminating the white, which you don't want. And when you have just yolk in the blender, like that. But we want two of them, so let's try this again. Please, please work with me. Simple separation, like this. The other way to do it, you can do it in your hand. Max, would you prefer me doing that? Yeah. Well, I'm already done, so you're all right. There you go, another yolk, it's in, beautiful. Here's what we're adding. We're gonna add, in a traditional Benedict, it's what? Lemon, this Mexican version, we're gonna use lime. And a half a lime, looks like that. It's a lot of juice in this, it's beautiful. One more thing, a little uh, pinch of chipotle chili powder, like, like that. What was that? Like an eighth of a teaspoon or something, right? Okay, this now is gonna go on our blender base, on the machine or whatever you would call this, the lid. We're gonna mix this until it gets to be a fairly light, faint yellow. This is bright yellow in here. We don't want that. We want what this is gonna become. So let it go, it doesn't have to be on super high. We're gonna give it about a minute. Okay, now with the motor running, we're gonna take off the lid. Keep our hand there because it splutters a bit. We're gonna slowly add melted butter. Slowly, we're emulsifying. And just as it starts to thicken, we're gonna add in a diced jalapeno, little chunky bits. You let it go for, oh, 30 seconds, and let's look. And here is what we have, look it. Sacre bleu. That is gonna be so delicious on top of this thing. All right, here's what I wanna do. I have a thermos here that I've had hot water in. I'm gonna take the hot water, pour it out, take my hollandaise and put it in here, and it's still warm from the butter that was melted. Put the lid on this. Now what have I got? I've got eggs that are ready. I've got hollandaise that's ready and staying warm. My chorizo, done and beautiful. Guys, let's get happening here. All right, it's time. Remember our simmering water? Well, it's back. And so is our egg that will just go in for a minute while we prep our beautiful English muffin. And we're gonna start with some gorgeous avocado, like this. Just not even guac, just avo. It's tremendous. It's gonna add flavor, creaminess. Oh my God. 
And I don't know about you, but for me, not much is better than a runny yolk with some avocado. Next up is our chorizo. It looks like this. See the greasy? <laughs> That's just, for me, that's a dream. That's why I like chorizo, because it's just got that little extra fatty kind of gorgeousness to it. So make a little bed, take your time, make it pretty. Now our egg, and this is what I do. I'd like to take the egg out and just give it a little hit on a paper towel or a kitchen towel like this, so it's not wet. And then the egg goes on like this. Part of my hands here, Maxi boy. And now our hollandaise. I don't know about you, that is sexy AF. I think the only thing I would give it would be a little hit of pepper on top, like that. And it's time. But as with anything egg, we like to do this. Bam! Look at the slow burn out. Come on, buddy. That's it. There's my little friend doing his beautiful thing there. And look at, oh shit ass. Oh. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm in love. I'm in love with the Benny. All right, it's all gonna fall apart. Stay together for your buddy. Stay together, one perfect bite, one night in heaven. All right, wasn't that a game? Seven, Seven minutes, minutes in heaven. Seven <laughs> minutes in heaven. We didn't have it when I was uh, a kid. No, they had it. You were just never invited to play. Oh, maybe that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking douche. If this isn't proof why you should change shit up, not eat the same thing all the time, look, I love an eggs Benedict. Or is it egg Benedict? I love a straight Benedict. But when you change it, the hollandaise sauce, it's not that different with the lime and the chili powder, but it's great. I love the chorizo in here. It's just that fatty, spicy gorgeousness. And the avo. Don't, don't leave out the avo. Thanks for being here. Hit the subscribe button. Nothing happens to you. We don't bother you. We don't bother you. But you won't win if you're not subscribed. So it's that simple. Don't eat the same thing and make this, absolutely. Thank you, Benefiber, for sponsoring today's video.